Okay, um, I just wanted to make this video real quick talking about the Huyen Canvas 16 4K Plus Pro blah blah blah. <clears throat> um, since I made, you know, videos using this and talking about tablets, um, I just wanted to say odds are you probably don't need one of these unless like you really want to draw. Again, this is a drawing tablet. Um, you know, you can do 3D without a drawing tablet. You can do a lot of things without a drawing tablet. You know, you can use your mouse. Um, but again, I think people who actually draw can benefit from this because that's the whole point of this. It's, it's very hard to draw with a mouse. Um, and again, there's a lot of people out there who have an iPad and all they have to do is go out and buy like an iPad pencil, you know, to draw. So this is, you know, you, you don't necessarily need to buy one of these, you know, again, this is for computers, you know, to use computer applications to draw. So Photoshop, maybe some 3D drawing, like drawing textures on the 3D models and stuff like that. For, th for those moments where you want those very precise, you know, hand-drawn lines, that like this is basically all this is good for okay it's kind of like a MIDI keyboard I remember a long time ago when I, I bought a bunch of music equipment uh, you know an audio interface a preamp basically same thing but like I had an analog preamp it was so long ago um, you know a microphone you know studio monitors and one of the things I bought was a MIDI keyboard and a MIDI keyboard keyboard is kind of like a drawing tablet. It's just a input device to input notes, you know, into the computer. And you can draw in MIDI notes with a, a mouse or a keyboard even. So, you know, it, it's mainly for people who like want to learn how to play a piano. And the, the MIDI keyboard I got, it was extremely uncomfortable to use. I don't know if all... MIDI keyboards are that uncomfortable, but pushing down the keys actually gave me a huge amount of fatigue in my hands and stuff. It was, and of course, I never learned how to play a piano, so it just sat there and collected dust. So if you're if you don't want to learn to draw, or you know you you don't have a reason to need to draw out hand drawn lines, you don't need this tablet. You know, again, this is for drawing literally and uh most things you don't you don't you don't need this to draw you know you can push polygons and and stuff around in 3d programs with a mouse you don't need this okay but you know sometimes when you're doing 3d you want to paint in textures and stuff and that's when this would be good you know so um this this actually has a very specific use case in my opinion and, uh, again, there's a lot of people out there who love to draw, you know, they make comics, they make, you know, concept art, they make, they love to draw. And admittedly, I have not drawn since I was a little kid. So did I need this? I don't know. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to inject myself into those drawing communities and, and see if I can get myself to actually start drawing, you know, maybe <laughs> kind of like trying to learn to play a piano. You kind of have to you know, hang around people who, who actually want to play the piano. So, you know, if you don't hang around people who draw, you know, there's huge communities of people who draw, you know, you probably shouldn't get this. Um, so, you know, am I going to follow through and like really start drawing and, you know, go into these different uh, hobbies that I haven't been my whole life? I don't know. Um, I, I just wanted to make this video because, again, drawing tablets seem really cool and a lot of you guys have talked about how you bought one and then you you got rid of it because you know maybe you used it for a tiny bit you didn't like it or or you used it for like one video game and you know the novelty kind of wore off uh, but yeah this this thing is extremely polished you know it, it it feels like it's really fleshed out and of high quality so i like it i'm not returning it um I don't really, you know, I, I thought for quite a few weeks on, you know, trying to find a tablet, doing a ton of research. And 
this this turned out better than what I thought it was going to be. So it's it's performing better. Usually, that's not the case when I, I jump into something new. Um, you know, I, fi- I find out the product that I bought has all these horrible, you know, design flaws that I overlooked. But this one actually performed better than expected. So, yeah, um, first, per- first purchase was a success. Again, I think a lot of people should get the bigger one, the 24-inch one, if you have the room to get it. Because this is kind of small. So, you know. But it's big enough to fit on my desk. And I I wouldn't have, like... I think it would have been possible for me to get the 24-inch if, like, I got rid of my main display and used the 24-inch as, like... But you kind of have to look down at it. You know, that's, that's the problem. Um, you know, a, a normal monitor is facing, you know, straight at you. These drawing tablets are typically tilted. So, you know, you don't want to constantly be looking down. It's, it's bad for your posture, you know. Um, it's true. Like, you know, if you sit here and, and look down and try to, you know, it's just not good. So, it's kind of like phones. You know, they have these things on them. So you can stand them upright Because you know you don't want to be, you don't want to be looking down at it, you know. So anyway, um, again, unless you really want to draw, I do not recommend getting this. Again, it, it's it, it's kind of like getting a MIDI keyboard, unless like you really want to learn to play the piano. And again, I don't know if I'll ever buy another MIDI keyboard again because of just how uncomfortable the one that I got was. It was very stiff. My fingers hurt. The texture of the keys even bothered me. It, it, it was a terrible experience. I don't know if I could ever get myself to buy another MIDI keyboard again. Um, definitely, I would have to do my research. You know, I didn't do my research back then when I bought that keyboard. These days, maybe I would, you know, I would look to see if, you know, I can find a, a comfortable keyboard. You know, that doesn't hurt your hands and have this weird, you know, hard texture to it. You know, those those glossy keys are just uh, the, the hard spring, pressing them down, fatiguing your fingers. It was fucking terrible. Um, it was a mid, uh, M audio keyboard. So anyway, yeah, I, I, again, you know, odds are you have like an iPad or something and you can, like, if you just kind of want to experience drawing, you can just buy the pen, you know, get it out of your system. This is for people who like want to draw on the computer, you know. Uh, if you want to do that, again, the, the, think about all the possibilities you could you could draw a concept or you could make comics. I don't know. I don't even read comics. I've never. You could make all sorts of stuff, you know. Basically, you know, you you need to have a an idea, or you just need to be creative in general. I don't know. Okay, anyway, that's it for this video. Main point of this video is this is a really nice product. Um, I really can't see how you could do much better besides get a bigger one. Um, but, yeah, it's it's great. Um, very satisfied with it. So this is kind of a review, but also most people probably do not need this, including me, honestly. You know, a lot of you guys ask, like, why do I need a drawing tablet? Because it's cool. Okay, but, you know, just like getting a MIDI keyboard because it's cool. You know, it's one thing to buy it. It's another thing to actually put it to good use, you know. I'm sure there's plenty of people. Like, when I got these Neumann Teal Mono 3s, even when I had one, there was some guy who was, like, you know, jealous of the Teal Mono 3. Like, he was like, you're not even, you know, you you can't even rap. You can't even sing, you know. And, you know, he was uh, he was actually trying to, you know, he was actually making songs and stuff. And obviously, you know, he could not afford one of these microphones. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people who can draw really well, but they can't afford one of these. And they, they would put it better, to better use. Anyway, that's it.